Hello, hello, and welcome to a new series where I'm going to take a bit of a look at, a back at what's been going on in my uh, in my satisfactory streams over the last few weeks. And so, um, I, I approached this. I, I started playing this game because one of my uh, viewers decided it'd be interesting after I start after I played Foundry for a little while to see me playing one of the other well-known um, 3D version 3D factory games, shall we say? Now, for anyone who isn't familiar with the channel, I've played a fairly obscene amount of uh, Factorio over the years, so I've, I'm a bit about um, 2,700 hours on that, And this, but this is my first time playing through Satisfactory. Now, at the point where I'm recording these videos, I'm probably, well, I'm not sure how many hours in it is, it's probably about 50 or so. Um, I've got to the point where I've um, been spreading out, making railway systems all over the place. I'm, I think I'm onto about the last, the probably the final tier as far as I'm aware of what the um, the elevator over there asks for. But for this series I'm going to be looking through back over what, how I got started and how things have been going. So as you can probably tell from just looking around here, with me being a complete noob to this game, I hadn't really come across the concept of, of foundations at this point. So I was just sort of dropping buildings down in what seemed like fairly sensible places and then connecting them up together. I've got the um, the central hub system um, here, right next to me. Uh, there we go. There it is. But for example, over here, I've got a mine with a, then a smelting machine on the, right on the output of it. I haven't realised that at, th at this point, or rather, I haven't needed at this point to, to split the, that off into two smelters. So we've just got it feeding into one. And we've got a steady trickle of iron plates coming out over there, which are then going over to a machine here, which is doing goodness knows what with them. It looks like it's making them into plates, uh, plates in, in, from the ingots. There also seem to be some bars coming through here, which is slightly odd because I don't know where that's where the ingots for that are coming from. I've fallen down in the machines. So at this point, I obviously don't have a jetpack yet, so I'm getting kind of tangled up in the belts. Give me a moment. Okay, I have my freedom again. So as you can see, we've got the ingots trundling along there and going into going into the machine there to be made, and those are the ones that are being made into plates. Now these ones here, I think, is this more iron ore? I think it might be. Yes, this is more iron ore. This is coming along from another mining drill here and going into this through this smelter, being made into ingots, some of which are going off to be made into iron bars because I also needed those, and some of which I think are being made into still more iron plates. So I've now got a mixed belt coming around here with a mixture of um, bars and plates on it. Oh dear, this is all terrible. And that's all going into a warehouse over here. What's in the top warehouse? Nothing's going up into it. Okay, we filled up this up with screws to an extent. So there was a machine making screws, but I appear to have turned that off because maybe I had enough screws. Who knows? This 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 was months ago. I can't really remember. But my point point it the point I'm trying to get at here is that I've got a scattering of uh, mining drills around, each one of which is feeding straight into a smelter, and then uh, I'm making at least a smattering of things, and I've been able to do at least a little bit of research from that because if I come over into here into the hub. I've done the part assembly research which requires things like cable and rods and so on, all of which I've been able to make and obstacle clearing which is screws and then concrete as well so things are coming along a little bit and I've done all the tier 1 stuff as well so I've made some progress but the whole place is a little bit of a mess. Oh I've got a, um, a tower here, let's go up that. Oh yes and from up here you can see that at this point I'm gathering leaves from around the world those are getting turned over into biofuel and then I've been using that to feed the uh, feed the generators on the back of the uh, uh, on the back of the base hub system. Uh, so at this point, oh, and there's another generator there actually. I was going to say at this point I haven't needed very much power, but yeah, it is gradually expanding. I'm getting to the point of needing a little bit more, but I'm not at the point of any sort of sustainable power system yet. I found a copper mine over there, so I've got a belt running in over here, which is providing my copper ingots, and they're being split, so I'm making uh, cables. I'm sorry, I'm making wires, and then I'm also sending them around to another machine there to make cables. And so if you look down there, you can see I've got a mixture of wire and cable going into this uh, warehouse down here. So you can very much see that at the moment, there's there's not an enormous amount of automation. The basic resources have been automated. We're making iron plates and um, iron sticks over there, and I think we're probably making screws, although that seems to have been turned off. And then over here, we're making the basic copper things with the, uh, the wire and the cable. But... From there, I, I can't remember exactly what I was doing for anything more complicated that was required, but it's still, it, it's quite early days, the system is very, very basic. Oh, and I've got a, a machine down here that's making concrete as well, so I can grab it out of the machine when I need to take it over to the hub in order to make more stuff out of it. By the end of the second stream, there have been a bit of um, a bit of further expansion, shall we say. So we've got the basics over here. We've still got still got the uh, the system doing the the, uh, the biofuel down here. Although now I know there's three stacked warehouses there, so that makes me think I was making the biomatter and then turning that into actual biofuel and storing that, and then using the biofuel for the generators, which is a lot more efficient, a lot cheaper. Um, I've, I've put in the machine down there that churns through miscellaneous waste stuff that you don't need and pretty gives you tokens for it that you can then spend in the shop. But it looks like I haven't actually built the shop yet, so um. I've I've only, obviously only just put that one down. 
but most spectacularly over here I've started building out onto a foundations system and at this point I believe I've been warned that there was a bug with the one meter thick foundation so I'm using two meter thick everywhere I put a bit of wall around the edge of it so I don't fall off and that's now starting to, to um, make things in a slightly more organized way so as you can see we've, we've now got the stream of iron ingots going into it over there to be made into whatever. Another s gradual stream of them going in from over there. The copper is still being coppered up down here and not really and, and not very much else being done with that. Let's go over there and see what see what's happening over on the foundation. So having moved over here I've noticed that this mining drill, and I talked about this in the previous section, is now feeding into a splitter which is now going into two smelters. So I realized that if you if you upgrade, if you, the, the old mining drills can produce ore faster than a single smelter can smelt it. And so I've now got a stream of iron coming out over there. It's not remotely enough at this point but it's feeding out to another splitter that's then going into these two machines and then the other smelter is going into these two machines and that belt that's coming from over there I can't tell from here let's have a look uh, I can't tell I don't know I haven't upgraded that one to being a dual smelter system yet but we've got the belt coming in there that's making um, a steady stream of I don't even know what's because I can't see from here making a steady stream of 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 iron plates. So we've got we've got iron plates, we've got iron rods being made over here in quantities and that's allowing us to start making, the, well there's a lot of screws flowing through over there being brought over here to be made into, I assume these are going to be the reinforced plates, yes the reinforced iron plates. So that's a, a big step forward there and then over here where we can start making them into the smart plating because these are required as you can see up in the top right to complete phase two of what the, uh, the elevator requires. So phase one was a load of the smart platings, and they're fairly easy. You just need uh, these stator, I think those are stators, and um, and reinforced plates. So you need about, I think about 50 of those or something, and then you can shoot them up the elevator, gets you onto phase two. Phase two is a bit more complicated because you need larger numbers of things, and then you need to transport them all over to the elevator. And so this is my, this is sort of the first step of it. This is me making the, uh, the, the, re the, the whatever they call it, the smart plating in slightly larger numbers, but I've turned it off possibly because I needed the bits and pieces of something else. I also came over here and built up a coal mine down 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 there on that coal seam, which is passing it up along whoop, along a belt over here. And I'm honestly not sure why it's doing what it's doing, what it's bringing that in for. Let's see if I, if I nip up here, can I see from here? No, it's not actually being used for anything. So maybe that was something I just completed at the end of the stream and haven't actually required yet. Uh, but. Yeah, with us, with me starting to build out this way, this is the sort of this is the start of my massive spaghetti factory that you'll see growing and growing over the next few uh, sessions as it just got bigger and bigger. And because I, I I built it fairly arbitrarily and decided it didn't really matter where it went, so it's going out over the infinite void of space over here, which you'll be pleased to know I've only fallen off into there once in the whole time I've been playing. Uh, but I can then come out I can come out here and I can build in more scaffolding and make this area bigger and bigger and bigger as far as I need it to be. Uh, and because I was going being health and safety conscious at this point, I've got these walls along here because I don't have a jetpack, so if I go off the edge of there, I am in a lot of trouble. So, as you can see, the big difference between Stream 1 and Stream 2 is that I expanded into this area over here, started building up the, uh, building up the, the on, on foundation, and started trying to line things up at least a little bit, and have, even if I've got some long snaking belts coming through here, and haven't really started thinking about ratios yet. During the next stream, things changed a little bit. Yes, we made even more, significantly more expansion and, and improvement and everything. So over here, we're still we're still making the um, the the smart plating somewhere around here. But the uh, the coal that I was talking about last time is now being taken over there somewhere to a foundry where we're making steel, and that steel is allowing us to make the pipes and the uh, steel uh, girders, steel beams, whatever they're called, that are going into these uh, into these warehouses over here, and then that that those are being fed through in order to start, uh, and we're starting to make the, the, uh, the, the cube, cube things, what they call modular frames, and those on the steel beams are allowing us to make the versatile frameworks. So that's another thing for the uh, phase two objective up there in the top right. So we're working through all these sort of things. Uh, and I'm trying to I'm trying to keep excess of quite a lot of the things in containers at this point because I like being able to come along and grab stuff. However, I'm getting to the point where it's not really working all that well because a lot of the time you find when you look in a box, it's empty because everything that's been created has already been taken away to be made into whatever the next thing is that needs it. So in my current playthrough, I've more or less uh, stopped doing that. Uh, there are a few places with a few a few ingredients where they're split off and put into a box, but I'm no longer feeding into a box and then feeding out on the other side, assuming that my production is going to be able to keep up. Because with, with a few exceptions, like these modular frames at the moment, generally production can't keep up. And if production can keep up, you can just go over to the machine that's making them and then grab stuff out of the, out, straight out of it. So it's much, much easier to do it that way around. And so I'm very much focusing on producing the things required for the phase two objectives. And that's going, I think that's going pretty well. 
Um, I think that, but I think the main imp improvement this week, really, from a uh, from an interest point of view, is that I've started to make uh, steel. Now, what's going? What is going on over here? Oh, I've also started to produce tractors. That's a big improvement. Well, we'll look about look at that in a moment. So steel, yes, steel is happening over here. We've got um, so I found some more iron mines uh, way over on the extreme edge of the. Um, uh, of, of, of what I'm currently using as the play area. So if we have a look at the map, you can see there's not a huge amount explored so far, but I've got my elevator here, my, uh, that, there's the first coal mine I talked about, and I think my factory is sort of heading out more or less westish, like this. It's not quite westish because I didn't line things up with the um, with the ground because I was a bit of a noob, but over here we're ne we've now found some more iron mining and we're able to pull that in, and actually I take back what I said earlier about this being the steel, this is just turning iron, into, iron ore into, um, into large quantities of iron ingots, so that this is giving me a nice healthy iron, pl uh, iron ingot supply and so I've upgraded to a Mark II belt here so we can transport a bit more of it through. The steel, I believe, is being brought in from elsewhere. So if we take a look in this, this uh, truck station here, the first one is filling up with um, coal that's presumably being taken away by one truck and then the second one is, has a load of steel in it that's being brought in by another truck. So we can find that I built this bridge here. You can see all these blue arrows that are floating in the air. This is how you how you tell your trucks to navigate. And there's a couple of them bimbling in and out, uh, bringing the resources back. And to be honest, in hindsight, this system is a bit terrible because well, trucks get stuck on stuff all the time. It when you record when you record a route, you have to drive it yourself, and that's a pain in the proverbial because the trucks are difficult to drive. Also. They, they're, yeah, they're, they're difficult to drive, it's difficult to put down the route as neatly as you want to, and sometimes they get a bit confused, they, they get stuck, and then they just teleport to where they think they should be. But you can see over there in the uh, in the distance, we've got the, um, the the new steel smeltery area. So this also has a, a truck stop um, on the way in here, where, so the truck can drive in, it'll pick up the steel from here, because over here, I managed to find another place where there's a, where there's a coal supply um, somewhere. Oh no, take it back. No, the coal is being brought in by truck. I, 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 never mind. So the coal is being brought in by truck. However, there's a nice healthy iron supply over here. Good, t two nice patches of it available. And so we're digging the iron up, feeding that into the into these advanced smelters, what they call their foundries, aren't they? So we're feeding it into the foundries that are producing the steel to then send it over into the truck stop over here. The truck stop fills up kind of gradually. I think a truck must have just... Oh no, a truck is just arriving. So the truck will stop here. It's a tractor, but yeah, you know, the vehicle will stop here. It will pick up with any, pick up any steel that's available, and then trundle back off to the main base to unload it. And so this is the first step of starting to have little outposts that do things. And you'll see that once again over here, I've not bothered with any foundations because I felt that for this sort of size of build, it wasn't really necessary. And I didn't expect this to grow much larger. Okay, at some point I'll probably put in another iron mine over there, maybe run these a little bit faster, and have have a bit more going into the um, into into the. Uh, truck stop down there but basically this is it's, it's not going to get too much more complicated than this I don't think of course that'll probably be famous last words it's now stream number four and the factory has grown still further the most obvious change well there are two really obvious changes here one is that I realized that I could change my uh, my player color to blue so of course I did because that's my sort of my my um, my personal color my my, my uh, want to keep things reasonably well branded I appear to have had a sort of a bit of confusion in that we've got a light blue there and a dark blue here or a richer blue here but never mind I wonder if this means there's a few orange things scattered around somewhere I, ca I can't see any I uh, I wouldn't like to say for sure, <laughs> um, but you can see the tractors are still trucking, trucking away over there, bringing the uh, steel over. But yes, the big difference is we now moved up to a two-story a two factory, and so over there, I, I, I'm trying to remember exactly how I set this up. Let's go and have a look. Uh, so here I am upstairs, and we have, um, I believe we're supposed to have steel being brought in here to make the steel beams. So presumably I was finding out that the machine down there on the bottom floor wasn't making them quickly enough. And now it's not making them quickly enough because we haven't got enough steel coming in. But, you know, that's a start. So the idea is that more beams are going to be made here. They drop down the elevator over there because I've unlocked belt elevators, or belt elevators, perhaps I should call them. And that's feeding it down onto the same belt down there that we had the steel beams on before. So they can then be passed. So we've got twice as many being brought in now because we've got two machines producing them. And so they can hopefully feed them off to over there and we'll have a little bit more throughput running down there. Additionally, over here, I've started. I appear to have started making. What are you making? You're making screws. Now, this is interesting because I thought I did this slightly differently, but maybe this is a precursor, and I'm going to spoil things. Um, right. So up here, we're now making the reinforced iron plates because, again, that was another thing that we needed enormous quantities of. So I've got a horrible spaghetti system here that's bringing where where we're make, we're bringing up. It looks like we're bringing up iron rods from the ground floor and then splitting them off to one 
to two additional screw making machines which are then feeding their screws in there to be made into the into the reinforced plates so that's a little bit of a mess but uh, what can you do but we do you do need enormous quantities of screws in this game so those are presumably are they not going they don't seem to be going anywhere what's going on here okay so we have a machine over here that is just making the reinforced iron plates and not feeding them out anywhere so i guess that's for me to come along and grab them so i can make the mark two belts i'm i'm not sure but it's, they're being made up here maybe at some point in the future i'll feed them down there and we can add them into the everything that requires the reinforced plates because that's under quite high demand that area down there doesn't seem to have grown very much. I notice we've still got about the same amount of stuff. And if you look up there in the top right, you can see that I've got about about halfway through the phase two objectives. We've made 350 of the uh, smart platings. We've made 410 of the um, uh, triangular prisms. I can't remember what those are called. And we haven't started making the red battery, like I, the, the red things that on on the right hand side there. Uh, so yeah, I'd say that's about half done. We've made, I've built up two of the production lines in order to build to the first two of the things, and the third one presumably re is going to require these uh, reinforced plates and everything else is being made up here. I also noticed that we've now got two belts worth of coal coming up along here. Let's have a look over there and see, see where those are going. Those are, okay, one is being fed into the truck system over here. So it's, it's feeding in the coal into this one that's to be taken away for the steel smelting. And also feeding coal into this one to power the, uh, to, to fuel the truck. So that's fine. We've then got a second belt that's heading off further over this way. And going off into the distance. So is that a direct feed for coal to the, um, to the smelting area? I don't know. Let's follow it. No, this was when I discovered coal power. Uh, co uh, so, over here, we have a, a, a nice shiny new system. Let's run up here, because then I'm going to be able to see what I'm talking about. This, I, I developed um, coal generators. So, over here, we're, we're bringing the coal in along that ridiculously long belt, um, because there's a, pa a tiny little patch of water here that I was able to chuck a, a pump in, and we're pulling enough water out to keep these three uh, generators running. And that's producing uh, quite a lot more power than the, uh, than the biofuel generators were. But more importantly, it's producing it, 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 it's, it's, it's power that doesn't require manual intervention. So that coal will carry on running out of the mine forever. It will follow this belt forever. And so over here, the, yeah, and the water will come out of there forever. So this will just keep working. And so we're now able to provide a steady stream of power for the factory uh, without me having to go and run around picking leaves and shoving them into a, into a machine to burn. So this is a huge improvement. It's a little bit weird, though, that we've built the um, the system here. I suppose this is this is the problem that I was having with it. So if I do a ping for coal to try and find where coal is, and I have a look on the map, then we can see yes, there's oh there's a patch of there's a patch of coal right here. Why am I doing this with a belt then? That's a bit stupid. Okay, I own oh, there's that patch over there that I've already harvested. Fine. And then there's more. I know from experience. Oh, okay, there's some over there which I can't get to very easily at the moment. There's some way up here somewhere. Uh, so yeah, it's a little bit in the the coal. I've, are the other coal. Oh, no, there's sorry. There's some there, but that's also kind of inaccessible because it's blooming miles away. Why I'm not yet using the coal up on the top of there to feed this power system, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, this should be being fed straight down here. However, quite soon I'm going to run into a serious problem here where I'm not going to be able to generate any more water from this patch. So the speed is going to carry on being exactly the same. I'm always going to be able to produce however many cubic metres of water per minute, but I can't put another pump in there because it's a really small puddle. So this is my very, this is my very, very early... Um, Coal powered, uh, coal power system, and there are a number of things wrong with it. It's a bit silly, uh, but you know you have to start somewhere. And now back over at the main factory. Yes, this is still stream four. I haven't I haven't loaded up another one yet, but I think this is quite a nice place to end the video. Uh, I'm going to try and make these reasonably short and just summarise what's been going on in, the, in 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 a few streams at a time, at least until I get caught up. So that's been about a month's worth of satisfactory playing. I've got a a factory over there that's building up to make making things for phase two of uh, of the space elevator demands. Uh, it's gone. I've gone onto a second floor already. I've got little vehicles buzzing around driving things from A to B, which are frankly a bit rubbish. <laughs> and I've, I've started to enjoy. The, uh, the the wonders of building things on actual uh, foundation slabs rather than just building them uh, h hither and yon and just seeing seeing what happens. And I've moved on to having a uh, coal supply way over there off in the distance. And I'm picking off little bits of research here and there. 
So, thank you very much for watching. I shall be back later with another one of these videos. If you want to see how things are going a bit more up to date, then come along to a Wednesday night stream where I shall be uh, carrying on with this, with this game. And I, I won't say where I've got to because by the, I don't know when you're going to be watching this video, so things might have changed quite a bit. Um, but there's still quite a lot to I think there's still a lot to do, so I imagine I'm going to be playing that for a bit longer. And if not, the, uh, the streams are all available as VODs, and there'll be some more of these videos coming out as well. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you then. I'll also be around on Monday uh, evenings for the Factorio K2SE stream, and at the weekends with with the usual uh, Factorio update videos as well. They're a lot like these, but with a bit more of a, a, a bit more of a Factorio lean on them. So, please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on anything, and I hope to see you in the future videos. <laughs> bye bye.